What do you miss about being young? No daily body aches or pain. My childhood house was on a huge hill. I used to stand on the top of the hill in my snowsuit and just jump. Anything over 8 inches of snow, I would just slide all the way down. I think about this often, especially as time keeps turning. Yeah, I feel this one. I get random knee pain every so often. Not sure if it's from working out wrong or just getting older, but legit knocks me out for like 3 days or so. I look like I'm walking with an invisible cast on my whole leg. I miss my hairline. As someone who's losing their hair at 16, I envy you. Oh man, where do I start? Saturday morning cartoons? Being carried to bed after falling asleep late on the couch? Highly interested in astronauts, space, and dinosaurs? Every kid was. Everything seemed bigger. The small fort you built was gigantic. The skinny high school student that seemed like he was 25 years old. All teachers were old AF. The toilet in your school felt like a scary dungeon. Playing in the mud with your siblings and cousins while your parents were screaming at your face for doing it, but you all knew you were gonna do it again. You just knew everything would be okay because your parents were always taking care of you. And if they were angry with you, you could always just go to your grandparents. And of course, falling asleep in the back seat of the van while on your way to grandma's. The sound and feel of the off-ramp would wake me up just as we were getting home. Those were the days. Having more energy and my body not aching. Dude, energy. I could just wake up and my youth propelled me right into my day. Now I'm in bed for an hour past my alarm. I need two cups of coffee just to get moving. My wrists hurt after decades of using my hands repetitively for work. I get hot flashes, I'm unmotivated. I do things because I have to, not because I want to. As I get older myself, I'm curious how many people feel the lack of energy are also people that aren't very active. I think we underestimate how having a healthier lifestyle can really make us feel better. I say this as someone who has recently started taking their health more seriously. And man, I do feel so much better. Living in a world where it felt like the future was going to be better instead of worse. Honestly, as a 15 year old, I gotta say I don't really think the future is that bright. Due to things like social media, we're being overloaded with negative information like climate change, oceans being polluted, inflation, high house prices, unemployment, and a lot more. Even really young kids, around eight or nine years old, are brought in contact with these topics, which is concerning in my opinion. I'm in my early 60s, and in the last 25 years, the media has been bought up by six different entities. There's so little difference in what they're all saying, and real investigative journalism has been replaced by PR releases. I've had to go to some YouTubers and some Substack people to get any meaningful news. On the bright side, I quit yelling at my television since I quit watching anything news related. I can relate, I rarely watch big news outlets. I watch people on YouTube and streaming services to cut through all the crap for me. The complete lack of responsibility. Yeah, I miss those days where my biggest problem was having to read out loud. But you can't know what a non-problem that is in the moment. Because back then, it was a big deal. As were middle school politics, failing a test, etc. It takes perspective to understand fully, which you don't have when you're young. Like seeing a toddler cry over a dropped ice cream cone. It's literally the worst thing in their whole life. I'm middle aged and I greatly prefer it. Personally, my give a crap meter is broken and I have tools, experience, and perspective to actually deal with things. Either way, being a person can be tough at any age. Thinking that everyone I met and talked to was my best friend. This is quickly becoming my issue. I made friends so easily in middle school. Now everyone I made friends with is leaving or I can't find new ones to talk to. If you need help with this, I would say join online communities if you can. Play video games with people online, or just try to do something new that involves people. This is the honest truth, but some of my best friends are people that I didn't grow up with and I met online. And yes, if you're curious, I have met them in real life. Not having to work. Oh man, what I would give to have two months off a year again. Being able to slam half a buffalo chicken style pizza with no consequences. Half? I know, what a lightweight. I miss the optimism and promise of a brighter future. Nowadays, it's all about holding on to what I have. Brain plasticity. It was so easy to quickly learn large amounts of information in my teens and early 20s. Now I'm almost 40, my learning capacity has slowed down significantly. I'm in my 40s. One thing that I've done and I still keep on doing is studying. It's like working out. 
So in my younger years, I had a very broad range in IT, from storage, servers, networks, OS, etc. So I've been studying that every year, one to three subjects. This year it was firewalls, I got certified, OS also got certified, and now about to do project management. Last year was a different OS only. Year before that was storage. Anyhow, you get the idea. I got four kids too, so it's a hard challenge. The takeaway is to never give yourself a break. Once you get stagnant, it's hard to come back. Since you are almost in your 40s, I suggest you take something easy to start and continue. I'm also a proponent of lifelong learning. I completed a degree in programming and web development during the pandemic. And I'm also planning on going back to school within the next three years to start working towards a series of degrees in entomology. I just accepted a job offer from a company that is willing to train me to do software testing and technical writing. It just sucks knowing that my next venture into graduate school won't be with the brain I had during my first PhD program, or even the one I had five years ago. I can still synthesize information just fine, but my capacity to learn information quickly and retain it just isn't as vast as it was when I was younger. It just now takes longer and requires more repetition to learn the same amount of information. It's four things for me, collagen, energy, motivation, and not feeling like time is running out. To be honest, time running out is the biggest thing I think about, and this is because I constantly compare it to things I want to do. For example, if I want to write a manga and get it turned into an anime someday, I heard that it can take up to two to five years to make one season of an anime. So that means I should have started selling a successful manga years ago. Boredom. Before Apple put computer interfaces in our pockets, Phones were mostly just phones. Boredom was common and also led to a lot of new experiences and serendipity. The lack of experiential context, aka not being jaded AF, and this innate desire to just use my body for things. I used to have an inner drive that needed to be expanded or I felt like I was going crazy. My innate desire is now attuned to relaxation instead. Mine's simple, my parents. Oof, I relate. I miss you, grandpa. Getting rock throbbing, well, you know, if you're a guy. Mostly a working pancreas. I'm 30, but being skinnier and my skin. Seeing aging on my face is hard to deal with. I also miss my old melons. I feel like mentally and life-wise, I'm in a much better place now than I ever was. I just miss my physical youth. Oh my God, do you feel like it hit you really quickly? I always had it in my head that aging started at maybe 40, but I feel like my looks completely changed from like 29-ish onward, and I agree, it's hard to deal with. I miss my old melons too. I'd love to have my physical youth back. I guess being creative and being naturally skinny. Yeah, same, I miss my waist and my motivation to be creative all of the time. I used to write a lot, and I also loved to dance, but then puberty hit me and I gained a freaking ton of weight. And I got bullied relentlessly for it by everyone. So that sucked. However, I would say I don't really miss my childhood. I now have more freedom in decision making and I don't have to go to the loud overstimulating family or friend meetings anymore. Wait a minute. This person said they stopped dancing and writing because puberty and gaining weight? I feel like those are two things that you could still do easily. But I guess maybe the bullying played a big factor in it. 20 year old me. I work at 7 a.m., so if I stop drinking at 6 a.m., I'll be good to go. Me now. How dare you suggest starting a movie at 8 p.m.? Being ignorant to how awful and hurtful the world can be. I guess I'm lucky. I'm 36 and I don't miss a damn thing. I'm better off physically, mentally, and financially than I've ever been. Beautiful wife and family. Self-employed. Life is good. Same here almost 10 years older than you, and I'm better, fitter, smarter, richer, happier than I've ever been. My friendships, career, marriage, body, and wallet are all much better at this age. No, I don't look 23, but that's okay. Preferably even. I find that people who are convinced that you get fat, frumpy, lonely, isolated, and achy at age XYZ are living in ways that reinforce that mindset. Yeah, I would have to agree with that last statement. I personally know a lot of people that have the ability to better their lives, but choose not to. And they often end up grumpy. That full-fledged confidence I had in myself. I was 100% sure that I knew absolutely everything and acted accordingly. Yes, it was absolutely obnoxious for those around me, but the confidence of 18-year-old me was unmatched. 
Now, I find this one funny because I was 100% this way. I thought I was going to win an Oscar and be making blockbuster films by the age of 25. Oh, how full of myself I was. I still want to do those things, but I'm a bit more realistic on how hard it is to get to that point. Also, being a content creator, I have some younger viewers that think like this now, and it's funny to see that confidence, or better, ignorance, knowing that I was once the same way. My metabolism. Just so you know, if you drag yourself to the gym a few days a week and put on some muscle, you'll raise your metabolism. Not just from the exercise itself. Once you build some muscle, you burn more calories at rest too. There are a lot of 50 year olds at the gym who look and feel great. It just doesn't come free anymore. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know if any of that's true, but I can say working out does make you feel better. When you're in school and it sucks, you can think to yourself that it's just a temporary ordeal on a way to something better. And there's a sort of general idea of the path you're on. When you're in a crappy job, you can quit and look for another crappy job, but there's nothing other than jobs that you're heading towards for the next half century or so. Even if you're in a good job, sooner or later, you just get more stuff piled on you until it becomes a bad job, at least in my experience. I agree and disagree with this. I did have a super chill job before becoming a content creator, but over time it beat me down and it made me question what I was doing with my life. Nothing is more motivating, in my opinion at least, than seeing the years fly by and seeing that you aren't any closer to your goals. It'll make you reevaluate your life and desires. As for the getting a good job or sooner or later it'll become a bad job, I don't think I agree with that. I really enjoy my current job over any other job that I've had. And if there's things I don't like about it, I try to find ways to improve it. I don't know, if I'm still doing this in a few years, maybe I'll think differently, but right now, I think it's pretty awesome. Waking up and knowing that I could realistically end up doing something completely unexpected that night. I could end up at a concert, some crazy road trip, a festival we just discovered, etc. That and the music. Life is so boring now. I technically still do all the fun stuff I used to, but after 2020, I'm just super anxious about everything. The simplicity of life. When I was a kid, a perfect day kind of looked like this. Wake up when I want, spend the morning at either the library or the comic store, go home for lunch, head out with some buddies to get up to no good for a few hours, head home for dinner, read some books slash comics I picked up earlier in that day, then finish the day with a gaming session on the console. I didn't know any better. That was just life. Now, if I have a day like that, I need to plan ahead like two weeks in advance. Clear my entire schedule, turn off my phone for the day, make sure all the meals are prepped ahead of time, or go out to a fast food joint, and then I can have a day that kinda resembles that. I need to put in the mental energy and planning just to have a real day off. And I don't have kids, so I get to do that every once in a while. If I did have kids, I would never have a day off. That's a 24-7 job. I can't even imagine it. The idea of stressing out and planning my whole day off is counterintuitive to the concept of it. But if I don't do it that way, it's not gonna happen. You know, I can totally relate to this. I am a workaholic, it feels like, and if I do have a day off where I'm not working the job that actually pays me money, I'm still doing something along the lines of like writing for a comic book or trying to write a short film or just streaming. I can't really remember the last day I just had a day off to do nothing. It definitely needs to be planned. The ability to enjoy things without thinking about the inner workings of things. Nowadays, it's hard to really enjoy anything without thinking about the people behind it. The corners they cut, the agenda they're trying to push, etc. It's really hard to innocently enjoy anything anymore the older I get because the mythicism of everything kind of fades away. In the understanding that someone is behind this. And it sucks. Knees. Honestly though, I'm 33 and I'm now in the washed up athlete bucket. I miss the days where I could go ham and wake up the next day feel like nothing happened. Sleeping. Years of shift work and being emergency response for stuff has left me with the inability to sleep properly. My woman says the butterfly in my spirit animal has given up because of how lightly I sleep and how instantly I'm ready for action if disturbed. It's a real bastard. Not much truthfully. I'm a better person now overall, in better shape, figured out school, and I'm married with two wonderful kids. My hobbies are still there, but now I get to share them. Okay, maybe I miss my old Saturday morning cartoons. Looking at you, Reboot and Beast Wars. Dude, I tried watching Beast Wars as an adult, and I couldn't get past the cringe dialogue in the first few episodes. 
I remember loving that show as a kid, but it's so dated now and I don't want to try watching it again and ruin any of the nostalgia I have left. Saturday morning cartoons were dope though. Definitely programmed us to look forward to the weekends. I am so glad that somebody mentioned the show Reboot because for anybody that doesn't know, basically it was like a 3D cartoon. But the craziest thing about Reboot was the ending was in the name of the show. Spoiler alert for a show that's over 20 years old, but the finale of the show has all the characters die because the computer they're in gets rebooted. Thinking about that as I got older, I was just like, dude, that was pretty morbid for a kid's show. Wild stuff. Perfect eyesight. As someone who got glasses during the pandemic, because I thought it was a product of panic attacks, I will say the clarity that I have with them on is insane. Really made me feel my age for that moment. Absolutely not giving a flying crap about playing video games all day, every day for weeks and with the boys. Nowadays, me and the boys are busy with work and when it's not work, it's our romantic partners. Haven't game with the boys for more than an afternoon in years. Being able to make friends because, hey, we're similar ages. Even in my 20s, I would go out into a different city and just blend in and party with a gang of similar age strangers. No problem. The joy of Pokemon. I mean, now at 29, I still play Pokemon, but I have vivid and joyful memories of playing Pokemon Yellow in the car coming home from my grandparents on my Game Boy. The streetlights kept me being able to play the game. The feeling of pure happiness when I got myself, by myself, through the forest on my way to challenge Brock. Dude, same. I feel this completely as I am a similar age to you. Pokemon Go was also so good a few years back. Lack of worries. I missed the days when my worry was if my crush was going to notice me that day. Now I worry about having enough money to one day buy a house and support future kids. Having time to clean my house, eating healthy to avoid health issues, doing well in my career, while maintaining friendships. It's not necessarily what I miss about being young, but as a kid, I always wished that I was 16, 18, 21. You know, pivotal ages in a person's life. But now that I've been all of those ages, I'd give up so much to go back 10 years where life was just innocent. Two big reasons or timelines. Being under 13, I really miss how simple life was. Nothing but playing video games, hanging out with friends, going fishing and playing in the woods. Just good old fashioned kid stuff. Every day was a little adventure. After 13 and on through college, life definitely wasn't as simple, but you still have your whole life ahead of you to look forward to. The possibilities for a future are limitless. Now at 37, I look at life as being middle-aged. I live a great life, but I definitely long for my youth. Our parents are facing their morality, and I look at life as being closer to the end than the beginning now. It sounds morbid, but it's the reality of things. My friends are fat, bald, or both. People have been married and divorced, including myself. People have died, pets have died, and we move on. Life just doesn't have the magic it did when we were young, and there isn't a nostalgia rabbit hole satisfying enough to truly take me back. Well, damn, now I'm depressed. Why not end the video talking about what I miss about being young? I heard a lot of people talking about their looks and how they feel physically. I have to say, I don't mind the way I look right now. My mustache actually looks pretty great compared to when I was younger, and my hairstyle has definitely improved. If I eat healthy and work out regularly, I feel pretty great. But I think the one thing I really miss about being young was the simplicity of everything. You never had to defend why you liked something or why you thought something was the best thing ever. You didn't have a million questions on why your crush didn't like you. It was because she didn't like you or think you were cute enough. Simple as that. Whereas today, you end up asking yourself, did they not find me attractive? Was it because they didn't like my job or where I live? Was it my laugh? Maybe she didn't like the way I dressed. Maybe it was because I said something that she didn't agree with. And so on and so on. But one thing that I didn't see on this list today was the lack of choices. I miss when I only had one video game to play because I became the greatest player at that game. I was doing speed runs of games before I even knew what speed runs were. I came from a family that couldn't buy new video games all the time. So I got one and I played it until you couldn't play the game anymore. Nowadays, great games are being released for free in hopes that you make in-app purchases. So many amazing games come out now that I beat them once and I move on to the next because I don't have time to collect every trophy in the games anymore. 
oh, there is 10 different alternate endings to this game? I guess I'll watch the other nine on YouTube. There used to be this thrill that came with playing the same game over and over again. Now that is definitely something that I wish I could experience again. That's it for this video. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. Put the playlist on in the background to finish listening to all the stories. Link at the top of the description. And if you like Am I the Genius, give Am I the Jerk a shot. It's linked in the description too. Either way, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys next time.